our barista and speaker for the night would be teaching us about different coffee varieties, roast levels, flavor notes, brewing guidelines, and techniques. He is one of the owners of Primal Brew. Let's welcome Mr. Hyansi Kilaiko. Hello to the members of Discover Manila Facebook group community. I'm Yancy and I'll be teaching you how to brew or different brewing techniques that you can practice uh, in the comforts of your home. Pag-uusapan muna natin ang different varieties of coffee. So, meron tayong Arabica, Robusta, Liberica, at Excelsa. So, for Arabica, ito yun. Uh, Arabica makes around 70% of the world's production. So it's a high altitude coffee, meaning that it grows at around 800 to 2000 meters above sea level. It has also less caffeine content compared to Robusta. It has a delicate taste and multi-layered flavors. Ito naman, Robusta, medyo maliit yung coffee bean niya. And this is a very unique coffee, no? Kahit 30% lang siya of the world's production, it is used to make instant coffee because it is cheaper than Arabica and it contains more caffeine. This is Liberica. It's considered to be exotic coffee. Sa atin, ito yung kapeng barako. Ito parang sa Philippines lang and different Southeast Asian countries nahahanap to. And it is exceptional coffee. It has exceptional aroma and flavor which is close to that or similar to ripe jackfruit. And it can be also roasted extra dark kasi malaki ang bean size niya and it has the ability to absorb heat during the roasting process. The last variety I will be showing you is uh, Excelsa. It's very similar to Liberica. It has medyo the same uh, tasting notes, the same aroma. And it's also, ano dito, parang it's lagi siya kinoconfuse as Liberica dahil sa similarities ng characteristics nila. By the way, may ibang categories in G-Life, hindi lang siya coffee. Meron rin retail, food and drink, lifestyle, gaming, and even health and wellness, which is super important right now. Ang uusapan natin ngayon ay roast levels. Sa ibang uh, labels o ng coffee, no, nakalagay doon sa label nila na may roast levels or roast type. Pwede maging light roast, medium roast, and dark roast. So sa light roast, it's mostly fruity, uh, floral, and they have bright citrus acidity. In medium roast naman, there, it's a more balanced cup, may a balance of flavor, aroma, bitterness, acidity. Usually, there are a lot of chocolate, caramel, and mga toffee notes in this particular roast level. The dark roast, medyo bitter talaga siya, kasi parang nasusunog na ang mga sugars sa loob ng coffee bean. Pero punta naman tayo sa tasting notes. Through this roasting process, nagde-develop ng flavor ang coffee kasi nagde-develop ang sugars nila through the Maillard reaction. Simply put, it's where the coffee is being developed and yung mga flavors nila throughout this reaction. So for Arabica, there are over 800 different flavor compounds. Papalabas to ang flavor compounds through the roasting. Iiba to, depending on how the farmers process the coffee, and how it is dried. Tapos, it depends also sa humidity, sa climate, uh, wherever it's grown. So, yung water temperature na is also a very important aspect because um, the hotter the water, the faster and the more you extract from your coffee. Opposite to this, yung cooler water naman extracts less and slower from your coffee. Yung boiling talaga is really not recommended. If you use that, maaari to ma-extract natin yung bitter compounds. The recommended brewing temperatures for coffee kapag light roast is around 90 to 95 to 98 degrees Celsius or tapos dito sa medium roast, it's, um, 90 to 94 degrees Celsius. So dark roast naman is 
around 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. And different brewing methods require different grind sizes. So coarsely ground coffee is mostly used for immersion brewing methods. So sa medium ground coffee naman, it's usually used for drip coffee or pour over coffee. And the finer grind coffee, it's used for uh, espresso brewing or yung Turkish coffee or mocha pot. Coffee to water ratio, meaning um, how much coffee and how much water you're going to use. So recommended no, for brewing, is either 1 is to 15 or 1 is to 18 coffee to water ratio. Meaning nito is 1 gram of coffee to 15 grams of water or 1 gram of coffee to 18 grams of water. Pang multiply lang natin. Kunwari, 20 grams of coffee gagamitin ko. Na I multiply it to 15, I'll be using 300 grams of water. Uh, tawag dito ay French press or coffee press. Probably the easiest method to brew your coffee with. The first thing I want to do when I'm brewing is to preheat. We want to keep our temperature as constant as possible. No? Don't forget to discard yung pang preheat ni na water. No? Lalagay ko siya sa scale. I'll make sure that I place in 20 grams of coffee. For blooming, I'd like to pour in around twice the amount of water sa, sa weight ng coffee ko. And I'll bloom it for around 30 seconds. This is just enough time na makikita natin na lumalabas ang parang gases niya. Pang gusto natin na even yung extraction ng coffee. So, allowing all these gases to release muna bago ibuhos ang lahat, uh, ibuhos ko na yung water ko. Lalagay ko lang ang lid and place ko ang plunger just right on top doon sa bed of coffee that's formed on top of the uh, the brew no our coffee is still extracting right now so if, if we press it down uh, the extraction process uh, stops no and we want to wait about four minutes for this to finish brewing um ang recommended time talaga siya for uh, french press brewing no? Kapag tapos na mag-brew ang coffee nyo, you want to slowly, slowly talaga, slowly press the plunger down as not to agitate the finer particles of coffee na pwede umakyat. We don't want that in the final cup of our coffee. May punta na tayo sa pour-over method. So, papakita ko sa inyo, tonight is the V60, an infusion brewing method, because we ng coffee grounds dito. The water passes through the coffee grounds. So, kung nakikita nyo, dito sa brewer, meron tayong ridges. They make sure that the water goes through all the coffee grounds and hindi siya mag-bypass dito sa gilid. How to properly fold the filter. So fold lang sa crease along the crease and then open it up and then fold din dito make a new crease here. It just fits perfectly dyan sa dripper. And what I like to do lit is to rinse yung filter dito na. No? Um, what, uh, what that does is it gets rid of the papery taste that's in our filter and as we do that we also preheat preheat the dripper the grind size that i will be using for this process is a medium to fine grind size so medyo like table salt to yung ground coffee ko and uh, i'll place it now uh, in my dripper so what i like to do with this is tap it to make sure that the coffee is evenly distributed and others naman they want to put ano na, a divot or a crater this just allows the water to seep through the coffee and coat all the coffee so i'll be blooming with 50 grams of water for this uh, process and i'll bloom for about 45 seconds um, and I like to give it a little swirl just to make sure 
all of my coffee grounds are saturated. We want all those gases to be released. Tapos na yung 40 sec, 45 second dun ko. I'll pour now um, 70 grams of water. And this is my second pour. Ay, may question pala ako. Yeah. Bakit kapag ka naglalagay ka ng water, may pa ano? May pa circle, circle. Ah, ano? oh nga no, I forgot to mention. You have to pour your water from the center out. We are brewing in a circular motion. We want to make sure that all our coffee is wet. So, my next pour will be 90 grams of water. Kikita niyo no, I'm swirling the dripper. Kasi, um, gusto ko lang evenly extracted yung coffee. Now, for the last pour. So, make sure to swirl, swirl yung ano niyo, yung carafe niyo. I mean, yung dripper niyo. Uh, just allows for a more even extraction. Ngayon, nagi invest na yung mga tao with coffee equipment. And dahil nga, um, we're still in the pandemic mode, G Life of the G Cash App is helping us um, get coffee. So remember to download G Cash. Tapos na tayo mag brew no, ng V60. Uh, so we want to keep our brew time in between 3 to 4 minutes. Kasi ito yung parang. Uh, sweet spot. Kapag masyadong mabilis, pwede na parang walang lasa yung coffee natin or magiging under-extracted. Kapag masyadong matagal naman, pwede maging super bitter or over-extracted. Third brewing method. Ito, medyo sikat to na brewing method. Eh. Um, this is called the AeroPress. Pumili kayo. It's an immersion brewer. No? So, this is the plunger, this is the brewing chamber, and this is the filter cap. So, dito natin nilalagay ang paper filter natin. My paper filter exactly for this. Um, circular paper filter. And meron tayong two different methods of brewing with the AeroPress, no? Yung original method or yung ang tinatawag ko upright method. And meron din inverted method na magbrew is baliktad yung AeroPress. Papakita ko tonight is yung inverted method. So with this, I'll be using 13 grams of coffee. And um, yung grind size na gagamitin ko is also the grind size that I used for the V60. So, but this time naman, imbes na yung automatic grinder ang gagamitin ni Yancy, ang ipapakita niya ay yung manual na grinder. Mm -hmm. uh, when you grind your coffee, uh, dito mapupunta yung uh, ground coffee niya, and ma-adjust niyo ang grind size using this. Twist lang yan to make it finer or coarser. Pero ngayon, anong size yan? Uh, this is medium fine. Okay, medium fine. It's set to medium fine. Then, lalagay ko lang siya sa loob. You can place it dito sa taas. Ayan, you just twist it. Spin it around. Aggressively. Pag wala ng sound, tsaka parang wala lang ang resistance, ibig sabihin, Ayan. tapos na tayo mag-grind. I'll put my arrow press on top of my scale and I place the... 13 grams of coffee here. So, ito no. Optional for this process mag-bloom sa process na ipapakita ko sa inyo. So, lalagay ko na lang buong 200 ml ko dito. If I'm the type of person nga na nagmamadali or medyo tight yung schedule, it's better to do yung um, air press. Dahil hindi na need mag bloom, di na need mag preheat. Madami kang recipes na magagawa dito and ginagamit dyan siya for competitions exactly because of this uh, um, versatility. So, I want to stir my coffee. Just stir it for around 30 seconds. Stirring uh, helps us extract more from our coffee. Parang the agitation, the turbulence that we're creating extracts more compounds from our coffee. And we don't want to over-stir rin, no? Dahan-dahan uh, yeah. lang yung pag-stir, gentle lang. So, I want to press this down. 
a little bit lang hanggang lang sa makita ko na palabas na ang coffee natin. To extract this, lalagay ko ang carafe ko dito sa taas and then invert. Kaya tawag, tawag inverted method kasi balik tayo. So yung brewing time natin is ideally 1 minute to 2, 1 minute 30 seconds to 2 minutes, no? Eh, bago natin invert and then we have to press this down gently. Kapag masyadong malakas yung pressure, baka mabasag natin yung carafe natin or baka sumabog din yung aeropress natin. We want to press down uh, within 30 seconds. Yan. If you hear that whizzing sound kung narinig nyo, that means na uh, we've fully pressed down na and wala na tayo mapapalabas dito sa aeropress natin. Um, what's the last one yet? Ito, papakita ko how you can brew brew cold brew, tama ba? <laughs> how you can cold make brew. cold brew at home, no? Um, this is using lang the French press. So, sa ratio na ginagamit for making cold brew, usu I usually use a uh, 1 is to 4 ratio. So, 1 1 gram of coffee to 4 grams of water, no? And then usually I let this sit for around 12 to 24 hours, depending on no, sa mood ko. Ito cold brew, we're using cold water, so medyo matagal ang extraction process niya, no? And we're using twice as much coffee um, than as compared to yung hot, hot. brewing processes, ah, okay. no? Cold brew has twice the caffeine content than hot brewed coffee, no? Meron na tayo 100 grams of coffee dito. So, maglalagay ako ng 400 grams of room temperature water. And ang gusto ko dito is to make sure that all my coffee grounds are submerged and wet, no? Sa gabi mo na siya gagawin. Yeah. And then, the next day, inumin mo na lang. I press down the plunger, no? Just enough na matouch na yung bed of coffee na ginawa natin. I leave this aside. When extracting your cold brew concentrate, you want to press down slowly, you know? Kung madami akong time, what I do with this is uh, pinapadaan ko pa siya sa paper filter ng uh, V60. Kapag walang masyado time, ganito. Medyo sandy ng konti, pero it's cold brew. And hindi naman siya super sandy. So, cold brew concentrate nga. I'll just use um, this amount of concentrate. Pantay naman. Kung gusto niyo maging hot yung cold brew niyo, pwede. Just use hot water with your cold brew concentrate. So, ideally, I use one part cold brew concentrate to two parts water. So, one is to two lang. Ito, coffee cheers. Last coffee cheers for tonight. Coffee cheers, everyone. Coffee cheers. Coffee cheers. Ayan.